to the next presentation, which is by Rohit Dhakre, again from Germany. And he will be talking on negative regulation of drought tolerance in rice by jasmonic acid. Evidence is from physiological traits, root proteome, and metabolites. Dr. Rohit, please. Thank you for the introduction, Mr. Chair. And thank you to the organizers for inviting me here to present my PhD work. So I come from Germany, from Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. <clears throat> so jasmonic acid is an important plant hormone, which has a diverse role in overall plant development. In rice, jasmonic acid has been less studied as compared to the studies done in Arabidopsis. And in particular, its role in adaptation to abiotic stresses is still debatable. So this is the simplified <coughs> version of the jasmonic acid biosynthesis pathway. So in this pathway, we have a mutant called as CPM2, which is having a deletion in the first exon of this AO AOC gene. So there are 11 base pairs missing from the exon of this AOC gene, and hence there's a frame shift. So the further pathway is blocked. So there is no jasmonic acid production in this mutant. To isolate this mutant, we have a very simple assay. When we grow the mutant on the un, under the white light, it shows a longer coleoptile phenotype as compared to the wild type, which is having a shorter coleoptile. We use this mutant to perform a comparative study to investigate the role of jasmonic acid under drought. When we subjected the mutant and the wild type to drought stress by withholding water, we found that the CPM2 was less, CPM2 was uh, showing, uh, was less sensitive as compared to the wild type, because as you can see in the wild type, the leaves are completely shattered and the plant is totally wilted. Based on this phenotype, we further decided to compare the physiological parameters. We first started with the stomatal conductance. Under the control condition, both the genotype didn't show much variation. However, under drought, the stomatal conductance was lower in CPM2 as compared to the wild type, suggesting increased stomatal activity to control water loss. We further decided to compare the water use efficiency under control conditions, the, there was no significant difference between the water use efficiency of both the genotypes. However, under drought condition, the CPM2 was having higher water use efficiency as compared to the wild type. And overall, the water use efficiency increased in both the genotypes. Since roots are believed to be the one of the first organs to sense the drought stress, we decided to perform high throughput comparative proteomics on the roots and we were able to get a very good coverage and we were able to map proteins on all the major metab metabolic pathways. We were able to quantify 279 unique proteins in the wild type and 217 in the CPM2. So one of the most astonishing results which we got from the proteomics analysis was that this AOC protein was highly abundant in the wild type. The log ratio was very high. This is stress to control log ratio. It was very high, 7.52. We also did the QRT-PCR analysis under control condition. The transcripts were lower in the CPM2 as compared to the wild type. However, the trend become reverse under drought. So it is important to note here that in CPM2, there's a deletion of 11 base pairs. So the transcripts might be present but, but because of the frame shift, it doesn't give right, it doesn't give rise to a functional protein. Hence, we didn't see the AOC protein for the CPM2. <clears throat> the next subsequent protein in this pathway is the OPS7. We found that the log, log ratio for the CPM2 in the CPM2 was very high. It was 1.22, and in the wild type, it was 0.83. So in CPM2, it was more abundant as compared to the wild type. We also did the QRT-PCR analysis and we found that the transcripts were not regulated under drought. So based 
on the last two slides we have a model that on under the influence of the drought stress this aoc protein becomes very highly abundant in the wild type as compared to the opr7 which was less abundant and this might lead to accumulation of this opda which is a highly electrophilic species and this opda is known to promote senescence and damage as evident from the studies performed in the arabidopsis so this might be a reason why wild type was performing inferior under drought stress we also identified large number of differentially expressed proteins related to redox energy and cell wall especially from the redox related proteins we found that in cpm2 there was some kind of anti oxidative mechanism which was not going in the wild type under drought drought stress also we found large number of proteins related to the phenyl proponent pathway these were unique in the cpm2 and they were shifting the flux towards the lignin biosynthesis this is a, one of our spe speculation so overall the factors contributing for enhanced drought adaptation in cpm2 in shoots they are lesser leaf rolling higher apparent water use efficiency lower stomatal conductance and higher aba levels data is not shown here and in roots abundant redox and cell wall related proteins and we could also speculate that on constraining opda we could suppress drought induced senescence so the take home message from this talk is that ja signaling might be able to negatively influence drought tolerance by orchestrating a block on critical morphophysiological and molecular changes necessary for the drought adaptation thank you for your kind attention Thank you, Rohit. Thank you.